hi hello guys so in today's video what we are going to see is uh, my fsm module uh, how to verify it using coverage property and how how to also uh, verify it using the assertion this is the main topic which we are going to see and uh, basically if you are coming into this side uh, what i had taken is 1101 more model and uh, i had designed it like in a finite state machine type and uh, yeah let's see uh, let's run once so you can observe over here we are getting four times outputs which is like whenever 1101 sequence is coming after the next clock cycle you will be getting the output as high so that's the basic thing which is happening over here apart from that all the other uh, all the other time the output will be zero so let's go into this so what i have basically written is sorry i was just checking so i just mentioned uh, sorry one second yeah okay so uh, this test bench what i have been writing is i'm resetting uh, i i set a class for reset and also i uh, made an initial block for clock and i am uh, randomizing the reset over here and uh, apart from that i am uh, giving a random data of 100 times uh, using this for loop uh, so this is the basic structure which i had taken i didn't ta write much sequence monitor scoreboard stuff and all uh, the main topic of this the main content of this topic is to sh uh, explain the coverage and assertion so just like that i wrote so the the point over here is in assertion if you are seeing in let's take for this uh, 1101 for coverage so if you want to write a coverage like this basically how we will be writing we will be writing bins is whether going one or zero we will just check that but if you want to check the uh, complete sequence or complete transition if you want to cover you can cover over here you can write here like uh, one after the this is like double uh, du this equal to and uh, this uh, uh, greater than symbol so what it is like it will be the next clock cycle so this this symbol represent the next clock cycle nothing else so here i am telling uh, first one should come then another one then another zero then last again one whether this uh, thing is working or not we are checking so whether all these things is coming or not we are seeing and in the bin 2 also we are uh, checking uh, another one pattern like sometime it can come 1101 so if it again start with 101 it this should also be another pattern right so in general that's how we will be writing for more and melee so this pattern also we are checking whether at least one time whether this transition is happening or not so that's our entire coverage thing and let's check about uh, this um, uh, this assertion so in general how we will be writing we will be writing from the uh, output we will be keeping at the output at the end for example when a reset is happening after one clock cycle we are checking whether the output becomes zero or not so that thing we are checking here so whenever we are writing assertion we will be most of the time we will be keeping the output at the end and we will be keeping the reset or some input or data will be keeping at the front instead of that if you are going to keep your output at the front let's uh, see here how to write for an fsm so here basically i am writing in the similar way uh, however at the starting i am writing at passage of the clock disable if reset if reset is happening disable it and then i am telling if when output turns when output becomes one uh, at that point so what we are going to uh, look is when output becomes one uh, at that time past means past meant one cycle before uh, whether the data was one that thing first we need to check so whether the data before one clock cycle is equal to equal to one which means this last digit this 1101's last digit and then in the uh, before two clock cycle whether it was zero so we are checking before two clock cycle whether this sorry whether that thing was zero or not so that we are checking and after before three clock cycle whether it was one or not so before four whether it was one or not so if you are writing in a reverse direction then we can able to easily check this fsm thing 
so this is my way of approach you might have a different approach of going uh, approaching this fsm uh, assertion so if you feel like uh, if you have some idea you can post it but i feel like this was the easiest way which we can try so we will verify the assertion whether it is working fine or not we will run it again and we will check so yeah so i guess the assertion is working fine because we didn't uh, get any uh, failure error and the test also passed the tests are passed so i guess this is working fine in order to check whether our assertion is working fine or not i'm just randomly changing the before three clock cycle let it be uh, zero something i am checking but uh, actually i should impose this change in the uh, change in the system in the design side but instead i am in order to just show you i am doing this side so now you can see there will be multiple fail occurring in assertions so yeah here you can see that so you can observe that multiple assertion failure is there because some of our design is going to give a output whenever the 1101 sequence is read but now we are checking for uh, 1001 sequence so which is wrong so it is giving the error so i hope this might have given you some idea about how to write assertion and coverage for your uh, fsm code guys so if you like the video please like uh, and give some command which will motivate me to do more videos on system thank you have a good day